everyone, so today we are doing a very exciting video. In this video, we are going to be doing a spring slash summer try-on haul. It feels really weird to be doing this right now because it literally snowed yesterday, but April is spring, so I'm going with it. Also, quick disclaimer, if you guys already follow me on Instagram, you probably already know about this, but for anybody who doesn't follow me on Instagram and only follows me here, I will just quickly explain why it might look like I'm talking a little bit strange. So a week ago, I got some dental surgery done. It's called grafting. If you don't know what that is or if dental stuff makes you uncomfortable make sure to go to this time and just skip i'll just talk about it briefly though so for me i had really really bad recession on one of my front teeth when i got braces they moved my teeth super super fast and it thinned out my gums so then they started to recess which basically means the root starts showing i also have a picture i'll show it i never thought i'd be showing so much of my teeth online but like here you go so that's what it looked like and it was going down at a rapid rate so i decided to look into grafting which is basically Basically, where they take a little piece of skin from the top of your mouth and then they sew it on the front. So that is currently right here. I would show you, but I'm not supposed to pull my mouth down or do any crazy stretching. But I thought, you know what? It's feeling fine. I'm gonna film a video. Why not? I do have to go in for my second round of grafting in a couple months. So if you guys want to see a more in-depth video on that, make sure to let me know because my recession was so bad. I have to get the surgery twice. So yeah, if it looks like I'm talking a little bit differently, it's just because because I have a little bit of discomfort in my mouth, but nothing serious. I'm excited for this haul video. Done talking about teeth. But yeah, so today we're going to be doing a try on haul. I'm so excited to share some of the pieces that I've got. I've been online shopping like a crazy person, as you probably expect. But another thing that stemmed this haul video was I went to put on some shorts just to see, you know, I was going through my closet, what to donate, what to keep, what's gonna fit me for the coming summer. And I fit no jean shorts. So I was like, I can't go into the summer without a pair of shorts. So, I got shorts and a few other things. I'll show you that now. Let's get into this. Let's go. Okay, I want to start with possibly my favorite piece, you guys. I saw this on the Instagram shop feature and I I was like, I'm not going to get it. I don't need it. Definitely don't need it. So I'm not going to get it. And then I thought about it for a week and I went back and I got it, so. <laughs> this is from a brand called House of Sunny. Oh my goodness, do I need to say anything more? Look at this. The sleeves have fluff too. Also faux fur, don't worry. This sweater has so many things that I love on here. First of all, the texture of zigzags, the fluffy fur, which by the way, you can unbutton off if you don't want it. And then around the sleeves, the zip, we love it. You can layer it, you can wear it on its own. There was matching pants, but I didn't get them, but I almost feel like now maybe I should. I think House of Sunny might be a small business as well. I'm not 100% sure. They didn't have a ton of pieces, but it seemed pretty popular. Their Instagram is amazing. All the colors, all the pieces, so beautiful. And the quality of this is amazing. I wish I wish I had more like occasions to wear this, but I just wear it around the house and I love it. It's so soft. Chip loves it too. He like cuddles up against it. So cute. Cute, 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 cute. Then I got quite a few things at Aritzia. I've actually been getting quite a few basics just because I realized as I've been going through my closets and donating a lot, I've sort of gotten rid of all of my basics. So I needed to replenish those. So I mentioned jean shorts. I did in fact get two pairs of jean shorts. These are the Sunday best. They sort of reminded me of a 90s short, which I really liked. Sorry, I have like a lisp right now. It's the, it's the, it's the skin on the top of my mouth that they took. So yeah. I've been doing this new thing with jean material where I buy them a couple sizes too big because if you aren't wearing a crop top and it's just going over, nobody knows that they're too big. But you know because the waist isn't tight on your body, which I have been obsessed with. These are a little bit too big when I tried them on as you guys can probably see. But honestly, I'll grow into them. I'm not concerned about it. They're super comfy. And then the other pair I got is very similar but they have sort of more an acid wash 
collage vibe and a little bit more distress to them. And they are in fact longer. I put these on and my mom was seriously having some sort of deja vu. She's like, I had those shorts. I swear I had those shorts. But yeah, I really, really like these. And I like how they're a little bit longer because sometimes with shorts, I feel like they ride up and then they're very short. So I like these have a little bit more length so I don't have to be concerned about it. So those are my jeans for the summer, my sh jean shorts. Now when the summer weather comes in, it becomes more difficult to wear sweatpants and that's when I break out these babies, sweatpants shorts. If you don't have a pair of sweatpants shorts, I suggest getting a pair. They don't have to be from Aritzia. You can get them many different places for a lot less pricey. Yeah, actually these are really pricey. $40, you could get them somewhere else for less. These are basically sweatpants but shorts. They're the same material, they're the same fleeciness on the inside, but they're shorts so you don't get as hot. I love them. They pair really well with an oversized t-shirt just for a slouchy look and they also look really cute with a crop top or whatever you want to put with them. They're just really comfortable. So I got a black pair, a light gray pair, and then more of a satin athletic pair which is more mesh on the inside. They're the Airy AF. So yeah, these are a little bit more breathable. I think they all fit pretty much the same. I'm stocked for sweatpants shorts. When it moves from winter to summer, I basically take my sweatpants and put these in place. I'm literally wearing sweatpants right now. And fluffy socks with stickies on the bottom. Does anybody else's stickies on the bottom of their shoes just get really gross? Because that happens really quickly for me. Okay, then two tank tops. This one's Sunday Best and this one's TNA. The TNA one's a little bit thicker. It's this really pretty purple color. I just thought, you know, I might want to wear a tank top. And then this one in this brown color, which I actually really, really love this brown color. I have a pair of pants that are almost the same color and I've been really into monochromatic outfits. So when I wear this with those pants, they are both brown and I am a vision in brown. Two crop t-shirts, as you can see, I've been loving purple lately. These are really comfy and soft. Again, you can kind of get these basics anywhere, but I was shopping online at Aritzia for something. I literally think I was shopping online at Aritzia because my dad wanted to try their sweatpants because I wear them so much. So I bought him a pair and he loves them. <laughs> it's kind of funny, but okay, another black t-shirt. And I swear to you, I had black t-shirts. I don't know where they went. I must have got rid of them. My mom must have took them from me. I'm not sure because they have all went missing. Lastly from Aritzia, I got this, the group Babaton, I don't know how to pronounce it. It's basically a very loose fitting white shirt. And this isn't a dress shirt style. Actually, no, you probably could dress this up. I bought it specifically to go under a sweater vest that I got, which I'm so excited to show you guys. But I also feel like this would be really cute to wear over top of a swimsuit, kind of as a cover up. It's got really slouchy sleeves that you can also unroll. It's a really nice fabric. It's a little bit sheer, which I actually like. I just wanted it to be very slouchy and I didn't want it to have any shape to it really and it delivered on that. Okay, next I was shopping on Verge Girl. This is an Australian brand. I've tried them in probably two videos now and I've really liked their pieces. As you can see, these are not basic pieces. They're lots of fun prints and colors. These are more statement pieces, which I find way more exciting, so. Let's get into that. First, let's talk about the sweater vest. They got so many comments in my Tuota and Ulrika Matoshi video that was like real versus fake pieces. I wore this sunflower sweater vest and I swear every third comment was asking where it's from. It is from Verge Girl. It's so soft and comfortable, you guys. I have been searching out sweater vests for a while now and I have only bought one and then this one changed the game. It is so soft. It's so slouchy. I got in a so small slash medium and I love it. This I paired over top of that Aritzia blouse and I just feel like it looks so adorable. You can wear it with something underneath, without something underneath. It's a really adorable pattern. I love it. This may literally be my favorite piece from this entire haul. So 
Here's where it's from, Verge Girl. Okay, next I got this really pretty mustard colored dress. This style sort of reminds me of the 60s. I don't know why. It looks like the fabric that would really hold its shape, but it's actually pretty elasticy and comfortable. It also fits me like a glove, which honestly is just lucky because that doesn't normally happen. But when I zipped it up, it fit perfectly. No gapping, not too tight. I got really lucky with this one. It's a little bit short. It's like a mini dress style, but I really like this. Again, I paired a turtleneck under this in my mini cakes video and I really like it. And then on its own, it's really adorable too. Plus I have like nothing this color. This is an honest mustard color. Speaking of my lunchbox cakes video, I wore this turtleneck in that video and it got a little bit of attention. It's a lime green with all of these stitched flowers in here. I feel like this has potential to be my favorite turtleneck. This currently is the reigning favorite turtleneck, but this has potential. It's so soft. It's very cropped and super elasticy. It kind of tightens up at the bottom giving sort of like a bubbly look, if that makes sense. I don't know if that makes any sense. I wish I had more descriptors to give you, but like, you'll see it on. It'll make sense. I like this turtleneck too, because I don't usually wear turtlenecks in the summer, but I feel like this is one that would work because it's a very breathable, light fabric, super comfortable, and I love the stitched flowers in here. So cute, love the green. I have nothing, again, this color. So bright, so beautiful. And another dress that I got is this one. This is so pretty. Again, not really a, a pattern that I would normally be drawn to, but I really liked how this looked. It gave me very early 2000s vibes. I feel like Lindsay Lohan would have wore this on a red carpet at some point with like those little sunglasses. Definitely gave me that vibe pulled me in with that. I like the silhouette of this dress too because it's very comfortable and flowy. It's got ruching at the top with this nice little lace brown detail. And then near the bottom, it's hard to explain. It's just got lots of cute details here, making it so nice. And I feel like this you could pair a turtleneck under or just wear it on its own. I think it would be very comfortable and lightweight for the summer. And that's why I bought it. I feel like everything I'm just justifying. I'm like, no, no. I got this because of this and this and this. I'm like proving that it was worth it. I don't know. Is that what a haul video is? Okay, and lastly from Verge Girl, I haven't worn this yet. I thought this was gonna be a little bit more cropped, but it's not. It's a button up, my nudish color, sort of like a sand tone with these orange flowers that honestly remind me so much of SpongeBob sky flowers. And it's a button up so you could wear it over top of like a dress or something or as a shirt buttoned up or not, whatever you want. This again is a really unique fabric. It's so soft and stretchy. This one's a little bit thicker. I think it's very cute. Again, a nice statement. I think you could wear this with like brown corduroy pants or a cute skirt or dress. I just really liked it. The pattern got me. I don't know what it is. I just love these little SpongeBob sky clouds. Okay, the last place I went was Airy. Now I have a clothing piece, but first I wanna talk about underwear. Now I don't wanna talk about underwear, but I feel like I should because this underwear is worth talking about. So I have worn many different styles and <laughs> fabrics of underwear in my lifetime, and I have not found anything quite as comfortable as these. Seriously, I have some comfortable underwear that is no longer comfortable because of these. They're so comfy. Seriously. I got nine new pairs and I actually bought my mom a few pairs a while back because I was like, these are so comfortable, you need to try them. Seriously. And for anyone concerned who usually wears a thong style or anything like that, these do come in a thong style. I have some, they're just as comfortable, except they're thongs, so like not as comfortable, you know what I mean. But like, look how stretchy these are. Seriously, so stretchy and so soft. It's amazing. I will put on the screen what these are called. They have the little stars in the corner. They're amazing. If you find your underwear uncomfortable, I would suggest investing in a pair of these. Just see how they are. Trust me, they will change your life. I hate to be this person amping up underwear so much, 
but I love these. Okay, but back to clothing. I bought these overalls from Aerie, and Aerie always pulls through with comfortable clothing that looks cute. I actually got my mom a pair as well because I thought it would be really cute for us to walk out both wearing matching overalls. I don't know, I feel like when you have a young kid, you always wanna match with them, and then your kid's like, no, mom, I don't wanna match with you, what? But really, I'm like, mom, I got you these overalls, let's wear them together. I wanna match, I think it's cute. But so these look like a denim fabric, a black denim, but really when you feel them, they are so soft. I actually wanna see what the fabric is because I'm kinda of confused. I don't see where the fabric is, what? I don't know what this is, but it's a very soft, thin denim. You guys probably know, comment down below if you know what this fabric is. It looks like this and sounds like this. But yeah, these are just really slouchy overalls with pockets, super cute, faded black denim. I love them. They're not super fun, but they also are super fun. So we're ending off the video on a bang. Okay, you guys, what did you think of all of the pieces that I bought? Which piece would you rock this summer let me know down below or if you plan on getting any of these pieces which ones what will we be twinning with if any i'm super excited to wear some of these pieces and i'm interested if you guys have gotten any new pieces that you think that i would like or that you'd like me to try make sure to, the, to comment them down below i'd be very interested to hear what you guys are shopping for can we twin can i get some stuff that you guys have been getting come on tell me Tell me down below. But anyways, as always, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!